Comedians sometimes have to deal with hecklers. It comes with a territory. But what do you do when it feels as if you've been heckled by an entire industry? Barry Mitchell spoke with one actress who decided to step up and challenge a TV institution. I'm Kay Kennedy from Backstage Access, and we're at Stanton, New York, where everyone is talking about Moronica, the new pop icon who only burst upon the scene a week ago, but she already has 12 gold records. Excuse me, what do you think about Moronica? Oh, we just saw her in Vegas. Yeah, she's terrific. She lip syncs better than Britney. Let's take a look at her new video, Make It Dash. Got so much cash, I don't need to keep a stash. Make it, make it dash, the whole burn is on my cash flow. Veronica is a pop star parody. Celebrities are a little bit irresponsible with the things that they say. So Veronica is like, we just pushed that to the limit. Make it, make it dash, the whole burn is on my cash flow. Moronica is one of the characters created by multi-talented comedian Carrie Cottett. I'm from Brooklyn. I was born and raised there. My background is Caribbean. My parents are West Indian from Trinidad and Guyana. One thing Carrie does not find funny? The scarcity of African-American sketch actresses on TV. I wrote an article speaking about SNL and the lack of diversity. For The Atlantic Online and a follow-up article for The Huffington Post. And I pointed out several things. One was that there needs to be diversity in the writer's room in order for anything to happen. And I also talked about the lack of quality roles available for black actresses. Some say Carrie's articles were the kick in the butt SNL needed to hire more black writers and actresses. More about that later. It's the kind of project. It's the kind of project. I started my own sketch comedy web series because I want to I want to do my own thing with my own voice with a more diverse cast. Tired of spending hours just burning in the sun? Sizzle no more. It's Blacker Tone, a superior suntan lotion. When I wrote Blacker Tone, it was, what does it mean to be black? What are people's perceptions of blackness? 10 out of 10 women said not only did they look blacker, but they felt blacker. I just feel more confident. Terry always knew she'd be an entertainer. I learned that I wanted to do comedy maybe at a pretty early age. I was always performing for my family members. I used to get in trouble for making fun of people, but that was the way like I picked up different accents and dialects, and it would always get a laugh, and then I'd probably get in trouble after that because I'd make fun of my mom's friends. But role models were hard to come by. It was like Whoopi Goldberg and no one else. So I didn't know until I turned on YouTube. That's when I realized that there were so many other black women doing characters that weren't stereotypical roles. Like, they, they weren't just the loud, angry, ghetto black woman. How about a loud, angry white woman? The gentleman that was behind the counter was very rude and very disrespectful. In what way? It's, it's a weird thing for me to be able to talk like this because people are like, where's this girl from? Who are you? Are you Jewish? You're yelling and you're very aggressive yeah. already. I'm never gonna get a role where I can play a white lady from Long Island. So I was like, let's prank call people. Real well, life. I, I need you to situation? admit that, I need you to admit that yeah. you're wrong. Animating it just made sense, and she got to have a life of her own and not be bogged down by my blackness. Shut up right now. Carrie thought her op-ed pieces calling out Saturday Night Live for its lack of diversity would go unnoticed. Why was I wrong? The punchline is Carrie was one of a select group invited to audition for Saturday Night Live executive producer Lorne Michaels. I doubt if they knew that I had written this article when they called me in. I show up at the audition, there were 10 women there, and I was the last to go out. And I had my purse in my hand and I said, they told me I could leave myself backstage, but mm -mm. did you see how many black women they had back there? Got a big laugh. I thought so, because you just, you just have to call it out. You make fun of stereotypes. It's the way that you do it. And earlier this year, SNL did hire three African-American women, a new cast member and two writers. Does Carrie take credit? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm very ambitious. I'm happy about the journey and I'll just see who likes me and who shows up to fill up these seats. K-E-double-R-Y, doing sketch comedy and I'm not a white guy.